One time I know he started counting backwards. You know, he said something like 38, and I didn't get it, Reggie. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. he started saying 36. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he going backwards, and now if he get to zero, he got 40. JP Nation, this is your boy JP. Today we are reacting to Michael Jordan's Trash Talking Stories by Uncut Hoops. Shout out to Uncut Hoops for the video. Thank you so much for 1,100 subscribers. So blessed and thank you for each and every one of you. If you're a return subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, definitely subscribe down below to It's Just JP for more basketball content. Check out my previous content too as well. Click the notification bell, you will know when my next upload is. And what better than to hear some trash talking talking stories from the GOAT, from other legends in the NBA. And let's go ahead and get into it. I will stay quiet and let it play. See what they're talking about. I will never forget this. I never had a player to do this. So I remember going- Dominique to, Wilkins. I was going to Chicago and we're in suit and tie. Atlanta Hawks we're legend. In the locker room. We just walked in the locker room. And I remember Michael Jordan walks into our locker room suit and tie. I'm like, how is he doing in our locker room? Is he coming to, you know, to the training room? Well, what's going on? So he walks by me, he walks by Kevin, he gets to Randy with me, he said, lace him up, it's gonna be a long night. Uh-oh. I'm like, did he just come in the locker room? <laughs> I didn't know what he said, I was shocked. He had 60 that night. Woo! He had 60 Woo! points that night. So KG had never seen me. J.R. Waddle. We in Chicago, you know, it's my rookie year. Him and Kevin Garnett. Or going into the fourth quarter. JR is having a good game. So I'm quiet. I always stay quiet when I play my and talk too much. So as we you come out of timeout, just I'm on, y'all. Y'all I can't even explain it. We come out of the fourth quarter, KG like, man, keep going at his ass. No, Girl, KG. He can't guard you. It was only a wicked. Killing that nigga, yo. Killing that nigga. Boom, yo, straight up. This yo, story's so funny. Keep going. I was quiet. I'm looking at him like shit. The mic was literally right there. <laughs> right there. Mike can hear me. So I double balance. Okay. Keep going at him. Wow, strong for this dude, man. As I say that, I feel it. So Mike looked at me, looked at KG. Hands on hips, legs locked, and then he stared at me for about 15 seconds. Uh -oh. I was like, Mike, you don't know the rules of the game, man. He's just a young buck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how. I see him and Mike having a conversation. So he's like, he don't really know. He's excited. What else? So now MJ on the back leg. Mm -mm. Okay, you talking? Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 huh? And Mike looked at him again like, okay. Looked at me like, okay. I said, what you looking at me uh -oh. like that for, right? <laughs> I can't even really describe the next like six or seven minutes. Like, <laughs> Came to the, went to the fourth quarter, man. That man got about eight, 17 quick. Oof. Down 25 now. It was just that two. <laughs> looking at KG. Looking at me. Looking at KG. It got bad quick. <laughs> I come to the joint. And then they know this. When you come and you've been on the run, you not got back on the floor, got back, had to rebound, had, and you feel like you on defense all the time, you come to KG's the KG's another like great trash talker. Jimmy, come here, Joe. I'm like, yeah. Where am I back? I'm sorry. Be like, it's cool, man. I told you. Just shut your ass up, man. You're not fucking. So you got in between them. Right there, where you're like, damn. Next thing you know, we over there like this. <laughs> Mike came down. Okay, young fella. Okay, okay, damn, young fella, damn, damn, y'all, y'all done, damn. Never talk shit to Mike ever. Facts. Mike right here. Uh huh. Reggie Miller. Chicago. Indiana Pistons legend. Best one ever. And okay. And we were playing the next exhibition game in some obscure place. And most veterans do not like to play in exhibition games. They want to get to the real thing. I'm a wide eye energetic rookie and we're playing this exhibition game and Michael's going through the motion. Mm -hmm. The Pre -season. person who's on my team who's a trash talker yep. as well is like, the wife can you believe Michael Jordan? The guy everyone's talking about who's supposed to be able to walk he on set water. Wedgie up. Oh, you're killing him, Reg. This is in the first half. He's like, you should be talking to him. He's like, you know, you're right, Michael. Who do you <laughs> Right, there's a new kid on town, right? Kind of looks at me and starts shaking his head. So at half, I have 10 and he has four points, right? I'm doing all this talking. He's like, okay. End of the, end of the game in the second half, he ended up with 44. <laughs> and I ended up with 12. <laughs> so now 40, 42. And as he's walking off, he's like, 
be sure and be careful that you never talk to Black Jesus. <laughs> black Jesus? Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. He's holy, everybody. Black Jesus. So we got Chicago Bible Bulls Scott. And unfortunately, uh, I got a sprained ankle. He was really good with the Lakers. And so, did you say fortunately? Showtime. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. Unfortunately. I, I enjoy guarding Mike because he was, you know, the one thing I did with Mike is I never got him pissed off. Amen. <laughs> Why can't people do that? Good shot. You say, good shot, Mike. Yep. You know, you know don't gas him up. To him so he can go off for 60. You know, <laughs> try to kill him with kindness. Yes. You don't try to talk trash to him. So, they're getting off the bus. We're done with shoot around and we're walking out. And MJ says, B Scott, what's going on? I said, What's up, MJ? He said, Man, I, I hear that you're not playing tonight. Said, no, I'll spring my ankle. He said, Who's guarding me? I said, Anthony Peely. He said, 50. <laughs> <laughs> so, I told Anthony Peely, Listen, uh, MJ, uh, he's probably going to go for about 50 tonight. On this He'd be so motivated. Don't, don't piss him off. You know, just be cool. He had, he had over 54. Right? <laughs> Highlights. I did not never met him. Crazy. In front of my camp, he starts his thing about uh, you can't guard me, you can't do this. You know, I got my campus here, so I obviously I Young can't puppy. really go where I want to go because of my camp. So I stop the camp, send the kids to, to bed. We go back to playing, and he starts his whole thing. You know that you can't guard me, you can't do this, and then finally I just said, "Let's look, dude, you, you, you may be the best high school player, <laughs> but I'm the best player in the world." So mm. from this point on, it's a lesson. Mm. From that point on, it was a lesson. He never <laughs> won a game. I posted him up. I did everything. If I can ever show you that film, you never ask him that. Oh. Ask him about the things that happened in my camp. I don't consider that trash. I consider that fact. Hey. <laughs> you call it trash. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Oh, my tumbo. You be for real. You haven't got me yet. Huh? My hit me. Don't even try it. All star game. Go call Scotty. The tumble's talking about Michael Jordan never dunked on him. No, never. You said I'll get you one. No, he never dunked on you. He never put you on the highlight. Mike's gonna remember this. Ooh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan probably made that play too. He never don't throw you. And did the finger red. Oh! Matumbo, you can't say nothing now. He owned you. <laughs> Story that I think summed the whole thing up. We was playing uh, Chicago and Salt Lake. They switched and put John Stockton on it. And he turned around and dunked on Stockton. So some guy got up and almost followed him down the sidelines. Hey, Jordan, pick on somebody on your own side. Oh, no. Next time down the floor, he dunked on Mayo Turpin. <laughs> and we went over and looked at the guy and said, was he big enough? <laughs> Did you ever get involved in trash talk with Jordan? Thanks a lot, Jimmy. I just wonder. Man, I, just, I You don't seem like trash. Check out my Magic kind of Johnson guy. video. It's going to be up here, too. I never talked trash, but one time in my entire life. With Jordan. With Jordan. Greatest oh, point of all, all time. Right. First ever time ever talking trash. Mm. So we're with the dream team. talk trash? Okay. And uh, for three days in a row, we had came into a tie because what Coach Daly did, he split the team up east versus Olympics west. So basketball. Barkley, Jordan, Larry Bird, Pippen. Uh, and Patrick Ewing wow. all played in the East. Wow. And then we had the West guys, myself, David Robinson, Malone, uh, Mullen, uh, Drexler, and so and John Stockton. So we would play every day, tie. So this is the fourth day. And we got out on about 12 to 2. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really rattle his chest. Right, so I went over there, tapped him on the shoulder, and said, hey, man. If you don't turn into Air Jordan, we're going to blow you out today. Ooh. Jimmy, his eyes got dead. <laughs> <laughs> Usually that tongue come about right here and now it's way out. <laughs> he broke the huddle. He hit a three and he's looking at me. <laughs> so he came down again, hit another three. 
<laughs> so the greatest shot. Now I've been involved in all three of them. First, Dr. J walked out in air, out of bounds. Oh yeah, right. reverse okay. layup, under, up yeah. under. Right. Michael Jordan in 1991 came down on us with the right hand, tongue out. <laughs> he switched in mid air to the left. <laughs> against the glass. Now this is the greatest shot I see. He came down the right side, took off. David Robinson took off. Ooh. And he said, okay, I'm going to just sit here in the air. Because <laughs> I know David Robinson is going to go down. <laughs> so David Robinson went to the ground. He 360, tongue moving. What? <laughs> and dunked it. In a 360, practice game. In a practice 360. Game. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I was just stunned. And all of us were stunned to see him hang in the air that long. And 360. Michael Jordan is so incredible. Well, never should, be the moral is you should not talk trash to Michael Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Thank when you. say 360, you mean like it was like full, like this, all the way? <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan, that's who you said you wanted to be like. And I've heard you say multiple times that when you saw him for the first time on the court, you could literally yeah. see the aura around him. Because that was my guy. That was my hero. Did you talk to him before the game at yeah, all? Yeah, it was no, unbelievable. It was, it was, it was um, the first time I ever talked to him was um, that year playing in the rookie game. That was the year they did the top 50 of all time. Oh, did, okay, okay. Yeah, when they had the jackets on yeah, and all yeah. that. And I saw him walking through. Um, I'll never forget it because he said, what's up, you little bitch? <laughs> oh, I'll never forget it. I looked at him like, all right, man. What do you say back to that? Because it's somebody you really rock with. Nothing. You just got to eat that, right? Nothing. And then, like, I remember one time I was telling him how much I rock with him. He was like, man, you wouldn't rock, you wouldn't rock with me like that. He <laughs> right. that, that I always knew that once I got to the league, I was going to try my move on the best. So... Who's just a victim that night? R.I.P. Kobe. Hey, you only got three now. I got three. You only got three now. I know where you're going. You gotta get up quick. You know where I'm going right over the face. Right. I keep facing the ball. Where else? Who's up your feet? Yeah, but where else are you gonna go? In the game I go for you. I spun all the way around. I go for these ribs right here. Three, two, one. That's all right. Hey, I shoot them better when the clock going down. Man, RIP to Kobe. Just them just walking with each other and just respecting it. Man, there's so many other trash talking stories about Michael Jordan. Definitely check them out. Man, these were, were really good trash talker stories. Um, <laughs> Michael Jordan is, you know, one of the greatest trash talkers of all time. He's probably number two behind Larry Bird. I mean, you know, Reggie, Gary Payton, Kevin Garnett. I mean, the list goes on and on in terms of trash talkers. But man, when Jordan was in that Chicago Bulls jersey, the fact and rule is you should never talk trash to him because if he's off, don't talk trash, just keep playing. But when you start talking trash, then it's just gonna motivate him even more and will just score you. He is so motivated. Anything that you do wrong, like if you look at that last dance documentary and you've seen things that he took personally, I mean, he's up for the challenge and he's gonna do it a lot better than you could. Uh, like that George call, like when he walked past him and stuff, and Jordan just was motivated off of that. Like, just anything you do, you just got to be really, really careful. Be really careful. Um, shout out to Steph Curry with that uh, Jordan video the other day about talking about the Wilder Cup and the competitiveness. That was a really good video. If you haven't checked it out, check out that Steph Curry video. It's amazing. But, like I said, don't ever, ever in your life, talk trash to Michael Jordan when he was a Chicago Bull. You can get away a little bit in Washington a little bit, but not when he was a Chicago Bull because he was just unbelievable and he would just do anything. I mean, just do anything. If he loses, he's going to take that as motivation and beat you the next time, so. <laughs> but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite Michael Jordan trash talking story. Comment down below on who is the GOAT to you. Talk about, you know, Michael Jordan, uh, what you grew up in. I mean, just anything Michael Jordan, just comment down below. 
subscribe to my channel if you're new subscriber for more basketball content a lot more videos is coming on the way so thank y'all so much for the love and support 1100 subscribers thank you thank you thank you and god bless y'all and i'm just gonna end it like this peace